I'm just waiting for everybody to drop in. We got some excitement this morning on a Monday morning, all the way from Jamaica. Sandra's saying good morning all. Morning, Sandra. You've got at the bottom, you've got your chat options. You've got your question and answers. So towards the end of the sessions, if you've got any questions, um, if you just drop onto the question and you know, Q&A and just drop um, a note of whatever it is you want to ask. Because we've got the three different presentations, just be mindful of mentioning which, which host you sort of, you know, raising your question at at the moment. Hi, Tina. She's just said morning, everybody. So just so I can introduce everybody, um, you can see us all on the videos. You've got Donovan uh, from Jamaica Tourist Board. We've got Claire from Moon Palace Resorts and we've got Max from Round Hill. So you're in for some fun this morning. So Donovan, if I can hand over to you to give us a little bit of Jamaica loving. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, presentation for you guys today and hopefully at the end of this, you'll feel uh, missing Jamaica and you'll definitely want to come back. And that is the intention to share what we have waiting for you guys. So right into it, I'm Donovan Donaldson, uh, Business Development Officer for the Jamaica Tourist Board and I cover the Southern United Kingdom. And as you can see, my email is there and I'm in front of the wonderful Duns River Falls in Jamaica. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the must do, things to do while you're on island. But before we go into this list, let's talk a little bit about Jamaica. And primarily, I'd like to start with where we are located. We are located in the Northern Caribbean and we are the only island that is actually surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. We're south of Cuba, south of Florida. We're just over an hour, hour and 15 minutes from Florida by flight. So Jamaica is a very good destination for twin destination holidays with the US and the Caribbean. Some quick facts, we're just under 11,000 square kilometers. Our capital city is Kingston. Our tourism capital is, of course, Montego Bay. We speak English and we have a population of 2.8 million people living on the island. Our people is what really sets us apart from the rest of the Caribbean. The people make Jamaica and Jamaica makes the people. We are a naturally warm and friendly bunch of people welcoming our visitors with huge smiles and open arms. And of course, our national motto is out of many, one people. Getting to Jamaica is quite easy. We have direct services available from London, Gatwick, Birmingham, and Manchester. On Ireland, we have three international airports with Kingston and Montego Bay accepting flights from the United Kingdom. We have recently introduced an online immigration card a lot of us, you know, you're on the flight, you can't find a pen, you make a mistake, it's just a lot of stress when you get on the ground to get another card. So we now have an online immigration card, uh, the C5 online card, it's live, it's ready to go. Uh, we encourage people to complete the form prior to departing. Uh, you can do the form if you have Wi-Fi access on the plane. Uh, changes can be made at any time, and of course, once you arrive, you present your passport to the immigration officer and just say, I've completed the, e, the C5 online form, you're processed, and you're welcomed to the island. We also have a several new self-serve kiosks involved, installed, sorry, at the Montego Bay Airport. Makes it, again, very easy. You arrive, you go to the kiosk. Put your passport in quite similarly it's scanned and you are welcomed to Jamaica. We have again uh, wonderful concierge services at both international airports in Montego Bay and Kingston. It's operated by VIP attractions and they offer a wonderful service where you have an arrival meet and greet facility where your passengers or yourselves can be met. You're fast-tracked through immigration assisted with luggage retrieval, and you wait for your transfers in arrivals halls, arrival lounge. 
On departure, award-winning departure lounges are available, which has all the facilities and more. Free show facilities, free calls, the UK landlines, a uh, wide range of food and drinks. And of course, there are facilities for children. And the only extras you may pay for are spa facilities. We have six resorts on island and to go through them very quickly. Montegre, perhaps the best to know, it's on our northwestern coast, right up there in the corner. The complete resort, as we call it, is the home to the Sangster International Airport. Hotels are just up to 30 minutes away from the airport. Four championship golf courses available. Shoppings and attractions and restaurants are all within a five mile radius. And of course, Montego Bay is a major cruise ship destination. The complete resort, it's great for romance, family holidays, great for golf. And of course, as I said, a fantastic choice of resorts. Then we head over to the West Coast to Negril. And Negril on the West Coast is what we call the capital of casual. Negril, it's just an over an hour from the airport in Montego Bay. Fantastic seven mile beach, a wide range of accommodation, perfect for sun worshippers, lots of intimate hotels and inns, and of course, being on the West Coast, spectacular sunset views. There's something for everyone in the grill. It's great for cliff diving, great for nightlife, snorkeling because the water is so clear and fantastic reefs, and of course, the sun worshippers. Then Ocherios, what we call the North Coast. Jamaica's a bit squashed, a bit flat, so we call Ocherios a part of our North Coast. And Ocherios, it's actually my favorite resort on island. We call it the centerpiece of Jamaica, and why is that? Hotels are just 90 minutes approximately from either airport. And there are over 30 attractions in a 10 mile radius, some of them found only in Jamaica. And that's why I really like Otrios. Lots to do with a very short transfer. A great resort for romance, lots of romantic resorts, and lots of family resorts. Again, because there's so much to do in the Otrios area, it's great for families. It's a major cruise ship in port. And as we said, something for everyone, great for weddings and honeymoons, family holidays, fantastic attractions, and a wide range of resorts. We head over to Port Antonio in the east. And Port Antonio is what we say naturally. Port Antonio, hotels are just over two hours from, either, from the airport in Kingston, sorry. Uh, it's a gateway to the Jamaican Blue Mountains, over 7,000 feet high. Uh, it's the Hollywood of the Caribbean. Lots of people don't realize that so many films have been done in the Port Antonio area and lots of footage from the upcoming Bond film, which will be released later this year, uh, was filmed in the Port Antonio area. It's perfect for ecotourism. And as we said, something for everyone, the home of the famous Boston jerk. Uh, that's our cuisine, jerk cuisine. That's where it started in Boston, Portland. Great for eco and nature holidays, stunning movie locations, and of course, the home of rafting. River rafting is one of our signature attractions, and rafting on the Rio Grande is one of the things we recommend. The South Coast, really what we call off the beaten track. It's unspoiled. Hotels are just over two hours from either airport. It's smaller, family-run resorts and hotels is the order of the day down there. Lots of nature-based attractions, community tourism, and of course, some of the things we have down there are the Pelican Bar, which is an unusual place. We'll talk a little bit more about that. The Black River Safari, Appleton Rome Factory Tours, and of course, the YS Falls. Then we have, last but not least, Kingston. Kingston, the heartbeat of the nation. The largest English-speaking city in the Caribbean. We're the home of the Norman Manley International Airport. It's a cultural hub of Jamaica, and sometimes we like to say of the Caribbean. Great for nightlife, and again, a gateway to the Blue Mountains and fantastic coffee plantations. And our newest uh, addition is now home to our newest and fifth cruise ship port out at Port Royal. We have something for everyone. Historical Port Royal, the Bob Marley Museum, annual carnival, 
and you get that great large city vibe when you're in Kingston. So on to my do, must do list of activities while in Jamaica. And of course, you can't come to Jamaica and not visit our Duns River Falls, 600 foot waterfall that cascades to this beach. Not many places in the world you can say you went to the beach and climbed a waterfall. Then we have in Kingston or Bob Marley Museum. Jamaica is a home of reggae music and everybody knows about Bob Marley. Everybody loves reggae music or we would think everybody loves reggae music. And one of the best places to learn about the history of reggae music is to visit Bob Marley Museum, Museum learn about the master and have a fantastic experience. In Jamaica, we are known for our rums, and we have a few rum uh, factories that offer tours, Appleton Estate and Hamden Estate on the North Coast. Fantastic place to learn about how rum is made, and of course, have a tasting experience, which I'm sure many of us will, or depending on how much you drink, will or will not remember. But at the end of the day, it's a great experience. Another place to enjoy this rum is to head out to Pelican Bar. So off the shore on the south coast, one mile out to sea, there's a very unique bar. Uh, it is a must do thing. You have to get out to Pelican Key. Great place to have a few drinks. And it's just one of the unusual things that we offer in Jamaica. We're all about speed in Jamaica. We have some of the world's fastest people. It's very known and you cannot, if you're in Jamaica and there's an athletic event, you have to attend. The major event or the one that the hot card or the hot ticket would be the Boys and Girls Athletic Championships in Kingston. That's held between March and April. But there are other athletic um, events happening throughout the year. Lots of uh, marathons, uh, triathlon on the South Coast. So we invite you to visit our website, visitjamaica.com. Look at the events where you can see a comprehensive list of all our athletic events and other events. We also have uh, bobsledding. You've seen the movie Cool Runnings. We invite you to come to Jamaica, head up to Mystic Mountain, where you can have a tropical bobsled experience. Again, nowhere else in the world offers such a fun thing based on a movie. We also have our one wonderful seahorses. You can come, jump on a seahorse, and go for a memorable experience. Horses actually ride out into deep water and when it becomes deep enough, they begin to swim while you're riding them. And again, something that you will remember. Rose Hall Great House, one of uh, many plantation houses that still exist on the island. And the unique thing about this house is that it is haunted. We invite people to come at nights and have a really interesting tour. Learn about the history of Jamaica with a few thrills thrown in. Our signature attraction, rafting, available on a few rivers. But the one that we really would recommend is on the Rio Grande in Portland, in the Portland area. It's a bit of a trek to get to, but totally worth the effort and find out more about the history of the island. And of course, you can't come to Jamaica and not sample authentic jerk cuisine. Head to Boston Bay in the eastern part of the island and you can see how jerk is traditionally prepared and smoked over wood and of course learn about where jerk all began. We have a wonderful portal for travel agents. It's called Jamaica Rewards. Here we invite you to become a Jamaica travel specialist by signing up on jamaicarewards.co.uk Learn and earn more. Receive cash rewards and the taxes pre-deducted. You earn monthly cash rewards, incentives. You can earn a place on our sell it and see it fan trips. You receive a quarterly newsletter. And of course, we, know, we recently introduced a Euro account for our Irish agents. We're on all the usual platforms for social media. And of course, if you would like to find me and add me, I'm Donovan Donaldson, JTB UK, and I can be found on Facebook. So thank you very much. And I will head, hand you now over to...
the other presenters. That's Claire. That's me. That's you. But before we do that, um, just to give a recap, we've been getting lots and lots of messages coming in. Like, wow, what a destination. Safaris, rum, waterfalls, culture, food, nightlife, Bob Marley, plantation houses that are haunted. When is the next fam trip and how can I get on it? So just a quick question with regards to that. We've just got a bit of a poll. Um, so who has actually been to Jamaica on a sell it and see fam trip? Still just calculating. Okay, I've got 81% of people that are on have voted. So we've got 85% said no, Donovan. Oh, oh we, have, we have some work to do. <laughs> 83%. So yes, it's dropped down to 83%. So yes, um, wow. I cannot wait to get on that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> okay, perfect. So Claire, um, Welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, so Claire, everybody is from Moon Palace. Um, if I can hand over to you to do your presentation and tell everybody all about your resort. Absolutely, I'll see if this works. Ha ha, help. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sharing screen. <clears throat> sharing screen, but nothing's happening. That's not good, is it? Did you end your, yeah, you've ended it. Ended what? No, Donovan's ended his. Oh yeah, session. sorry. So uh, can you try, press it again, press the share screen. Um, Ooh, why isn't it working anymore? <clears throat> right, stop sharing a minute. Yeah, it's not even trying to share it. It's just when I click on it, nothing's happening. Donovan, are you, are you definitely out of your screen? Yeah, I'm out. Okay, let me... I can definitely do mine to share. Ah, yep. Here it goes. Perfect. I think. And then I need to share it up here. Um, Sorry, don't know what's happening. It's me. You can see your screen, but it's not large yet. No, so I have to go to that one. Yeah. Is that right? Done it! Yeah! <laughs> Thank oh, you. It's not funny. <laughs> it was there. So first uh, things first, can you see it? Yeah, it's, you, you, I think you've gone too far because it's now minimised it. So you need to maximise the screen. You need to make the screen bigger. You've only got a snapshot of your presentation at the moment. Oh, dear. Well, it's pretty, the weird thing is it's, mass, it's, it's full screen on my computer. So I don't understand how that's happened. Well, come out of your full screen and go back to your normal screen because it could be that. Hang on. I can't get out okay, of there. Okay, that's fine. You could see it. Yeah, go back. Is right now? Yeah. Is it all right now? Yeah, Good perfect. To Good to go. Sorry about the technical hitch, peeps. Um, first thing first, if you can see the picture of me, um, I'm not Judge Judy in a courthouse. We're actually um, house sitting. So this isn't my normal abode with this gallery thing behind me. Um, the second thing I wanted to say is, I, for, I, I bet we all wish we were in Jamaica right now rather than in isolation. Um, but we are offering the first person to make a Jamaica booking um, a seven night holiday. So that'll be a seven nights all inclusive for two at Moon Palace, Jamaica. So um, all you have to do to, to um, grab that prize is make a booking and send me an email and we'll communicate that somehow afterwards, I guess. Um, or I can I can tell you what it is, but you probably get it all wrong and spell my name wrong. So we'll, we'll do that afterwards. So I hope that cheers you up on a Monday morning. Um, as all hotels are, um, Moon Palace is actually shut until at least June the 1st. Um, but all the bookings that you have uh, already made can be rebooked 
um, at any time for 2020 or 2021 at the original rate that you, you made the booking, apart from the Christmas week. Um, Moon Palace is in Donovan's favourite place, which is Ocho Rios. He's smiling <laughs> with his Duns River Falls. <laughs> <laughs> um, the great thing about Ochi is that you can um, fly into Montego Bay or Kingston and the transfer time is about the same and as Donovan said very very clearly a lot of the really famous attractions are on your doorstep so once you're at Moon Palace you can get to Duns River Falls or Mystic Mountain within literally 10 minutes and the other thing I wanted to mention is I went to Jamaica for the second time earlier this year and lots of people say um, still, oh, is it safe? It still seems to be out there that Jamaica isn't a safe destination. But all I can say is that my husband and I explored the area around Ochi, walked into town. We went over to Portland and did some fantastic rafting. I really recommend that as well. And we never, ever felt threatened. The people are so friendly. So I just wanted to reassure everybody that it's a fantastic Caribbean destination, which is safe to visit. Um, so getting back to me in Palace, we offer um, complimentary transfers from both airports. 700 bedrooms at Moon Palace Jamaica and it used to be the Sunset Jamaica Grand for those of you that used to book it in the old days it's a yellow oops it's moving on um, yellow buildings which are now white um, and we transformed it into a five-star all-inclusive a couple of years ago so um, that's just to show you the location at Palace Resorts we offer a lot of added extras and one of our main added extras is resort credits. So our clients staying for seven nights receive $1,500 to spend on excursions. So visits to Kanoko Falls or snorkeling trips, spa treatments, swimming with dolphins, upgrading your wines in the restaurants. We also included a few years ago, free kids and teens. So children under the age of 18 can stay for free um, in their parents' room. So that obviously is a great bonus. As I said, 700 odd bedrooms. We have two towers at Moon Palace, Jamaica. And the first two room categories are in one of the towers where the bedrooms are slightly smaller. So we have some fantastic rates out there for those deluxe ocean view and superior deluxe partial ocean view. But the maximum occupancy is two people plus infant. The family deluxe rooms are the only interconnecting rooms that we have in the resorts. So these are two bedrooms interconnecting, one with, um, one with a king bed and then the other room has two double beds. In the second room for the children, there are um, lots of extras. There's an Xbox, um, kids bathrobe and slippers, L'Oreal kids shampoo and a fun in the sun bucket, for instance. So these family deluxe rooms can actually accommodate up, up to six. So if you've got a large family, you can benefit from the free kids and teens in that room category. It makes a lot of sense to book that one. This is the um, obligatory swim up bar. Wouldn't we like to be sitting there sipping a nice cocktail right now? There's also a kids pool and the restaurants. We pride ourselves on the quality of the food and beverage within Palace Resorts generally, and Moon Palace Jamaica is no exception. Whoops, go back. Um, we have a fantastic sun deck that you can see there, so you can um, watch the sunset whilst enjoying Italian specialities. We have Momo's on top right there, which is Asian with tapanyaki. And then on the bottom right is the Italian restaurant. There's also a seafood restaurant, which is open air, which isn't pictured there. We're going to try this video because the last year we added um, a jerk chicken station right on the beach. So guests don't even have to go inside for lunch. They can enjoy the jerk chicken, which is really popular.
a good job it's early because that probably made you hungry. There's, there's, that's really popular and there's, there's often a queue on the beach to, for the jerk chicken. So including the all-inclusive, we have free non-motorised water sports. There's plenty to do for the whole family. So not only is there a Playroom Kids Club for ages four to 12, which is the bottom picture, that's the outdoor area of it, but there's an indoor area too. Um, there's a teens lounge with loads of arcade games, flow rider, surf simulator, um, which, um, yeah, it, I wouldn't, it's, it's good, but you do get whiplash if you get thrown off. Not me, I, I didn't. I'm not brave enough, but my husband did get a bit of whiplash. <laughs> but it's great fun for those that, <laughs> those that aren't old like us. <laughs> and we have the, um, an amazing spa. So as I mentioned before, the resort credit can be used to um, pay for spa treatment. So that's another thing. We have um, a very good incentive programme called Pro Agent. Um, so please contact me afterwards if you're interested in signing up for this. We, um, for every seven night booking that you make, for every room that you book actually, you get uh, 70 US dollars credited to a debit card, which can be used in the ATM. So you get a pin number with the debit card or to pay for goods. And alongside that, for every room that you book, you get a free night with us too. And um, the new program includes more benefits. So the, the more room nights that you book with Palace Resorts globally, the more benefits you receive. So you'll actually get resort credit when you use your free nights and come to stay with us and air credit when you get to the very, the very top levels, which is obviously a great bonus. Um, we have a fantastic weddings program. This is the gazebo at Moon Palace, Jamaica. So a lovely romantic setting right on the edge of the sea for a wedding. And we offer complimentary weddings for a minimum three, three night stay. And for those clients that are taking their family for 10 rooms or more, we have lots of group benefits as well, including complimentary rooms and also upgraded rooms. So please do shout if you want more information on weddings. And that is it. Um, I hope that's given you a taste of Moon Palace, Jamaica. Um, as I said before, the destination, I, I just love it. I think it's one of the best Caribbean islands out there. It's got so much to offer because of the Blue Mountains and all the waterfalls and rivers. And of course the beach and the beautiful crystal turquoise waters for, for snorkeling. So, um, that's my quest. That's my presentation. Would you like me to stop sharing my screen now? Please. Thank you so much, Claire. And again, a brilliant hotel. Fantastic for teens, your kids, your couples, um, pretty much everybody. Um, the resort credit as well. So to be able to use that amazing spa, um, superb. And I'm sure everybody, when you was playing the video, was all dancing along and drooling at the jerk chicken. So yeah, you've made us all really hungry now. So thank you. <laughs> So Max, all I can see is ty you typing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm answering. I'm answering the messages. <laughs> Lots of questions are coming in. Oh good. Yeah, okay. So oh, I've good. been answering them. Good boy. Donovan, we'll do the questions at the end. We we'll do it so that everybody can hear. Ah, so okay. I don't that are answering them. So so yeah, don't worry about them at the minute. We'll do that right at the very end. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so Max, over to you. Um, everybody, me, this is Max from Round Hill. If you can share your screen. Of course. Let me go through it now. Just one second. <laughs> You're going to be better than me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let no, me try not. it again. He's share. <laughs> oh, guys. And it was working. Just one second. Oh, the pressure. The pressure. <laughs> Tell me about yeah, it. We have done a run through on this, like, literally two minutes before we started and everything was fine, but it's the pressure of the day, of course. Exactly. <laughs> I think you leave meeting first. Unbelievable. Guys, may, give me just literally 10 seconds. Oh, gone. Oh, it's disappeared. He's disappeared. He's, he's left the meeting by mistake. <laughs> scared him that much. <laughs> yeah. Donovan spiders. Bless him. Well, um, oh, I can there he is. One sake. 
Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can see okay. you too. Wonderful. Okay, here we are. Yes, no, yes. As you know, you live, you learn. Mm. And now? Can you see the screen now? Yeah, but it's not full screen yet. Ah, yep. 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 And it's, time, guys. it's working, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, wonderful. So let me start. Um, let me kick off straight away because I know I've got about 10 minutes uh, today. Um, so my name is Max Chanturi. Maybe some of you know me already. I've been with Round Hill for the, with Jamaica, I've been for 10 years, more than for 10 years now, but with Round Hill for about three years now, four years. Um, so I'm based in London. I represent Round Hill in the UK, but also in continental Europe. Um, so uh, I'll share my details later in the chat, or you can always approach Donovan and he'll be happy. I'm sure he'll be happy uh, to share my contact details with you. Hope everybody is safe and healthy. And thanks so much once again for, jo for joining us today to celebrate Jamaica and its wonderful properties. Um, Round Hill is one of the oldest properties in the Caribbean. It's one of the most elegant, um, top luxury, or we call it understated luxury uh, property. We are located, we were founded in the early 50s, and we are located near to Montego Bay. It's about 20 to 25 minutes uh, to Man from Montego Bay Airport. So it's very easy to get to. I always say you have three cocktails on a flight from London to, to Montego Bay, three or five cocktails, three movies, and then it's 20, 25 minutes and you're at beautiful Round Hill. Look, the entire peninsula is ours. So this is the hotel. Well, the name of the hotel is Round Hill is obviously taking after the shape of the, uh, of the peninsula. And there on the horizon, there is Montego Bay, Bay, and behind the hill on the horizon, there is an airport. So it's about 20, 25 minutes, very easy to get to. We have 36 rooms and 26 private villas dotting on the hill. You probably can see it very well on the hill. It's all the villas. And then right on the beach, above the main swimming pool, these are our 36 um, uh, rooms, which can be interconnected. Um, the rooms uh, are all designed by Ralph Lauren. Actually, he partially owns the hotel. She, he's got two villas, and so he's quite often on property. Ralph Lauren designed uh, all the rooms at Round Hill. Beautiful concept. I'll, I'll show you a few images of those as well. And this is our main beach, um, which is very private. You've got plenty of space there. Um, on both sides of the peninsula, you can see tropical rainforest. So it's a, it's a very lush, very beautiful uh, setting at Round Hill. This is our main, um, main reception area. So this is right on the beach and it's all plantation house. Uh, and it was founded, as I said, in the early 50s, in 1953. Actually, in the early 50s, we have like a holy trinity in Jamaica. We have three more gorgeous hotels. All the properties are fantastic and they are also different. But talking about that era um, in Jamaica, we have, um, of course, Round Hill was founded in the early 50s, but also beautiful Half Moon, which is also not far away from Round Hill or from, from Montego Bay and then uh, a beautiful Jamaica Inn property, which is near to, um, near, I, I believe they're near to uh, Ocho Rios. So these are the three um, old school, uh, luxurious properties with a lot of tradition and history. A little bit of history. Noel Coward is one of our, uh, you know, all, all celebrities who used to uh, use Round Hill as a playground, but also lots of royalties and celebrities the Kennedys stayed with us uh, for quite a long time. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, JFK uh, wrote his, um, a little bit of history, wrote his acceptance speech at Round Hill. It was one of the most favorite plays um, of Jacqueline Kennedy and JFK um, in the Caribbean. Um, a few words, just a few, just to show you what we have achieved over the last 60 years. And these are the rooms. Beautiful rooms right on the beach, 
Right in front of us, you can see beautiful Caribbean Sea, and there is also the main um, infinity pool. You cannot see it from here, but oh, you, you could see it from the main, um, uh, the, from the first slide. So the, um, as I said, it's all designed by Ralph Lauren, Jamaican mahogany, calm colors, and splash of blue and pink. It's very Ralph Lauren. In the rooms, we do not have any TVs. We do not pro promote that, that concept. So at Round Hill, it's very difficult to find a TV. Maybe in one of the villas, you will have it uh, because most of the villas, all of them are privately owned. And um, actually, to have a, a TV in the villa, sometimes it's okay because villas are very popular with families. So obviously, kids would like to watch something on, on a TV in a villa. But this is a very nice product. This type of accommodation is fantastic for honeymooners, for single people, but even for small families, because these rooms can be interconnected. Again, and this is actually your TV right in front of you, this beautiful view of the uh, beautiful Caribbean Sea. Um, the bathrooms. The hotel, obviously we are closed right now, but normally we are always closed during the month of September. And this is when we do all our maintenance work. So it does look traditional, beautiful, understated luxury, as I said, but it's all been renovated. So every year during September month, we do the maintenance work. So it's every year it looks very crisp and clean. So when my agents ask me, Max, when was it renovated? You know, what was the last time it was renovated? I cannot even answer that question because every year we take care of all our rooms and gardens and restaurants, etc. Then we have 26 most gorgeous villas on the island. Uh, we have from two up to six bedroom villas. This is a six bedroom villa with um, uh, beautiful gardens, beautiful lawns, private swimming pools. And the villas come with this stuff every morning. You wake up, you smell Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee or champagne, depends on your preferences, and uh, French toast or Jamaican breakfast, and it's been served on your terrace. These are the bedrooms in the villa. They can be open completely. So obviously when it's too hot or humid, you can close it and switch on your air core. Europeans or Brits prefer to open it completely and switch on the old fashioned fan on the ceiling. Stunning views, beautiful gardens. As you can see, it's all very well maintained and most of the bedrooms will have private swimming pools as well. So what we give your clients, for those clients who would love to have a privacy of a villa but don't wanna uh, rent the entire five or six bedroom villa, they can have a suite within a villa. So for instance, a six bedroom villa, we can split into two or three private suites, suite accommodations, and each suite will have its own private entrance uh, to the accommodation and a private swimming pool, etc. And I stayed once in one of those suites and I didn't even realize that the villa was shared with somebody else because, you know, it's very private. Everybody's got a private pool, but also access to the villa or to, to their suite from a different corner of the garden, which, which is fantastic. It works very, very good. So uh, to make it more clear, we have rooms, we have suite products and also complete villas. And these are the bathrooms, they're stunning. So you can have an alfresco bathing experience. You can take it outside, or of course there are bathrooms inside your villa. So most of the villas have this kind of setting in the bathrooms. Um, again, each villa, well, it, it's got this, um, uh, throughout the resort you will have that uh, understated luxury Caribbean plantation style. Um, a feeling, but each villa, once again, it's designed differently. So each villa has got its own twist. Um, again, beautiful swimming pools. And as I mentioned already, uh, some of the bedrooms will have private swimming pools as well. And this is a gorgeous patio. Can you imagine? It's not even a living room inside your villa. This is in addition to what you've got inside. This is a stunning patio in the gardens. Fantastic place to hang out with your friends, family, etc. The villa product, like everywhere in the world, it is ideal for big families, groups of friends, groups of golfers, or multi-generation holidays makers. Again, this is a, just, this just, you know, especially nowadays, when I look at these sites, I'm like, gosh, I wish I was there during April and May. And this is how you have your breakfast at Round Hill Villas. So you wake up and the stuff is there and they're already cooking for you. It's the most amazing, um, amazing experience for the family, but also you, you kind of have a very nice bond with your 
with, with, with the ladies who come to, to prepare breakfast for you. And some, in fact, some of the clients would like, you know, when coming back to us next year, they would like to have, or they would ask if they can have the same stuff coming to their villa again. Um, on the top of the hill, we have beautiful organic uh, gardens. Actually, we practice the uh, farm to table philosophy. So most of the food that we host, what, what you will have at Round Hill, it is grown locally. So it will come from our own gardens or from nearby fishing villages or nearby farms. So if we can source it locally, we will always do that. Unless, of course, it's salmon or caviar or something else that we cannot source in Jamaica. So we will, we will, we will get it from abroad. Otherwise, it's all coming from, um, from our own gardens or from uh, nearby uh, farms and villages. Martin Maginley is one of the top chefs in the Caribbean. He built up his career with four seasons, I believe, all over the world. And now we are so happy to have him um, um, on property. So he's the one who promotes this practicing of farm to table and also clean Caribbean cuisine um, at Round Hill. Oh my goodness. When I look at this, I really want to be in Jamaica again. Sorry, guys, I'm teasing you with food. And uh, we have two beautiful properties. And again, the same concept as in the villas, it's all about outside. It's all about Jamaica. It's all about the nature. It's all about the Caribbean Sea and lush gardens. We are not competing with the nature in Jamaica. It's impossible. So we keep it as understated as possible. And we let you and our guests and our staff to enjoy what Jamaica's got to offer to you in terms of nature, uh, in terms of the sea, in terms of the air, sand and views, etc. So this is one of the restaurants, the sea, sea, uh, Seaside Terrace. And this is the um, grill restaurant. And it's also designed by Ralph Lauren. And as you can see, again, it's very calm colors, lots of white, and it's all about outside. Just a, to touch on the restaurants, we have very, so we have two, two restaurants on property. And, um, uh, what we've done every day in our restaurants, you can have a different program. So um, I, I even have a list here, if I could just read very briefly. On Sundays, it will be fun. So there will be every night a different theme. On Sundays, there will be like farm to table. On Mondays, beach barbecue. It's like no shoes required, beautiful barbecue party on the beach with grilled lobsters and, and uh, goat curry. Then on, on Thursdays, for instance, again, it will be farm to table. Fridays will be Jamaica night. Saturday's Caribbean grill menu. So every night when you go to our restaurant uh, in the evening for dinner, you do not have a feeling that you're in the same restaurant because there is always a different theme around here, which is fabulous, I think. Um, let me just show you, because of that great connection with Great Britain, every day at four o'clock, you will have afternoon tea. It is in uh, ceremony, so it's, 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 it's a, it's included in the rate, we do not charge for it, but it, every day at four o'clock on a terrace overlooking the beautiful Caribbean Sea, you will have scones, sandwiches, lemonades, coffees, teas, etc. And it's a place actually when everybody can see each other. So during the day, well, you know, the mother is at the spa, kids are at the kids club, father is playing tennis or golf, but at four o'clock they can all meet, or friends can meet each other and have a wonderful afternoon tea experience at Round Hill. We have three bars on property, obviously, beautiful cocktail. You're in Jamaica, you have fantastic cocktails, fantastic beer, which is Red Stripe. I'm sure you know it. And my favorite is, of course, the rum, because when you're in Jamaica, you drink rum. You drink rum. And this is a very elegant cocktail bar at Round Hill. You can probably see there at the reflection. So it's facing the ocean. There is a lot of history on the walls, lots of celebrities who stayed with us and royalties and uh, uh, who stayed at Round Hill over the last 60 years. And at night there is live uh, entertainment. So you will have jazz music or reggae music and most beautiful cocktails I've ever tried. And I, we all travel a lot, but Round Hill can make the one, one of the best uh, martinis I've ever had. Um, and this is very briefly, we have also an area, it's an adult only area. So uh, there is a building, as you can see, it's an old plantation house with a swimming pool. So we converted it into a beautiful spa and it's, it's an LMS spa. And then you have uh, um, 
uh, you can see on the um, uh, right side, you can see pavilions. So these are our fitness pavilions and also yoga pavilions, which is, of course, it's an inevitable part of any five-star resort, not even five-star, any resort nowadays, because people are very much into uh, health and wellness. And um, again, these are the outdoor um, spa treatment rooms. And this is our state-of-the-art gym. It's a beautiful, and look at the view. So you can be at the gym and actually enjoy it, which is fantastic. Um, and the, the beach is right there. So you can, you can just um, um, exercise and jump into the ocean uh, without any issues. And of course, uh, we have fantastic yoga classes and Pilates classes. And our staff can come to your villa and do classes there as well. It's absolutely not a problem. An infinity pool, this is the main pool at Round Hill, and this is the beach. The beach is beautiful, and it's also, you can actually, like in many, on, on many beaches in Jamaica, you can swim there, so it's not very shallow, it's extremely clean, and even when we are quite fully booked during Christmas period, it still remains very private, because many guests also stay um, up um, in their villas by the pools. Uh, very briefly, we have our own reef garden. It's about 100, 150 meters from the shore of Round Hill. We help local scientists to grow or to take care to maintain coral reef gardens. And I believe as from next year, we will be able also to do the tours of this uh, coral reef gardens. It's a, it's a stunning project and we are very proud of it. Kids Club, fantastic, very Jamaican as well. And Kids Club is free of charge, so we are not uh, charging anything uh, for your kids to use the facilities of the of the club and also if you need a nanny we can always arrange it a nanny is about about i believe 10 us dollars per hour which is very reasonable we have fantastic heart true the t a tennis I would would, would um, understand what i'm talking about a heart true a tennis course it's one of the latest technology of the um, of the flooring uh, um, of the tennis courts. We have a beautiful tennis courts on property. And just five minutes drive from Round Hill, there is one of the best golf courses in the Caribbean. It's called Trial. We organize complimentary transfers to that golf course and we have special rates with them. So once again, your golfers can stay at Round Hill, have the entire villa, and then uh, spend uh, a day or two or a week playing golf at the trial, no problem at all. Uh, what I also wanted to mention that we organize complimentary trips to Montego Bay in the morning as well. So people would like to go and explore. There is a small but beautiful national gallery in Montego Bay. There is a nice market and it's all about authenticity. It's not a fly and flop. Jamaica is not a fly and flop destination. You need to go and explore and do start uh, try to do it when you're at Round Hill and just take those complimentary, you know, excursions or trips to Montego Bay. Otherwise, if you want to see the island, please talk to our concierge and we will be happy to help you. Whether you will need a helicopter transfer or you want to do it, you want to do it by, by bicycle, we can arrange it for you. Let me skip this because this is not really, really relevant right now. And we have beautiful um, uh, Round Hill is a fantastic destination for weddings and uh, we have fantastic team who can organize the most exclusive wedding for clients, the most simple or most luxurious one. And what is very important, if you are having a wedding at, at Round Hill, um, it's going to be exclusive to you only. So we are not going to let any wedding to clash uh, on property. So it's all about you, Donovan. And what I wanted to show you very briefly, if I may, a little video just showcasing the property. Here where the sun is shining, tropical wine and dining. This is my world, step inside. Music is cool and easy. You've got to dance, believe me. This is my world, step inside. Come in. Come in. Amen. 
tropical breeze is blowing. Positive vibes are flowing. This is my world. Step inside. There is no need to hurry. This is my style. Don't worry. This is my world. Step inside. Coming. 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 A paradise. Waiting for you. All of your dreams can come true. This is my world. Step inside. Coconut trees are swaying. Come see the moonlight playing. I would like to thank everybody for organizing this webinar, but also for you guys for, for joining it. And if, once again, if you have any questions and if you are planning to visit us, hopefully next year, please let me know when we'll be happy to host you at, at Roundtable. Thank you so much. Perfect, thank you very much, Max. And wow, um, I've got no words. It is absolutely incredible. What a lucky guy you are representing that hotel. So, and Ralph Lauren, wow. <laughs> It's amazing. So, by the way, my, my invitation is also for you. So if you're planning to come, please, please let us know. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, Donovan, um, he has something that he just wants to cover quickly before we jump onto the questions and the answers. All right, um, just before I'm gonna, well, I think after the question and answers, we'll play that last video. But um, we have a special reward for the first agent, the first agent who has not yet signed up for the Jamaica Rewards Program. So the first agent who is not a member who signs up today will get a special reward. And I will answer that, or I will inform who that person is after the question and answer. And after that, we'll show a video. All right? Perfect. So if you've got any questions and answers, um Drop them in now. We've got a few that have been coming through. Um, Tina asked earlier, um, for Donovan, which resort can we find the seahorses, please? Um, so Donovan has already replied back to that. It's Negril, Montego Bay and Ochos Rios areas. And he's given a couple of, um, a couple of websites that we can look at. So again, Donovan, is that something that we can, you can sort of send out to people after yeah. the call? I can, Perfect. yeah. Perfect, perfect. Um, jo, she asked about how safe is Jamaica for tourists. We've already covered that, so very, very safe. And again, Donovan's put, according to APTA, we are the safest Caribbean nation with the least crime towards visitors. Um, Vishnu, this is a good question. Um, Donovan, is the haunted house tour, um, are ghosts mostly seen? And Donovan's put, it's Rose Hall Great House in Montego Bay. Uh, Joe's also asked which month has the most rain? Is it tropical rain in short bursts or can it rain all day? Um, and Donovan's already replied traditionally May and October, but worldwide weather is changing and no longer the same. Tropical rain in bursts in the afternoon. Um, and the last one that Donovan's asked was from Angela. What's the third international airport? Um, is Ian Fleming classed as international? And Donovan said, Yes, um, Ian Fleming was upgraded to international and accommodates the private jets. So we've got a couple of more questions that have come in. Um, Angela's asked, Claire, can we arrange site visits if we're on the island but not staying at Moon Palace? So Claire, this one's for you. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Dawn's asked, is there a specialist hotel training for Moon Palace, Claire? Um... Hmm. We haven't actually got an online training program right now. However, I have um, been using my lockdown time. <laughs> Basically, I, I've, my presentation that I use for training, I've recorded audio on each slide, which took a while, but I figure that's probably better than me doing a live training in a way, because 
if, it, if I've got it wrong, I've missed something, I've gone back and re-recorded. So I can send that presentation by, it's quite big, but I can send it by WeTransfer and it could be quite a good reference tool as well. Because if, if there's one particular area, weddings or whatever they want to go um, and have a look at, then they can just go to those slides. I, I have got a wedding, um, also got a wedding training um, presentation that I've just updated. So that's all up to date, which I can send out and that's not so big. Perfect, brilliant. Um, Angela has asked, um, I've, I've been going every October for years, never had loads of rain and always come back glowing. Ah, so that's good. <laughs> Jenny Jackson has asked, can we have your full details, please? Yes, Jenny, when you signed up for the, reg uh, when you registered for the webinar, all the email addresses were already on there, but Donovan will and um, and confirm everything um no doubt i'll copy copy the, the team in for you just so that you can see Absolutely. all the email addresses um sandra has just asked the same thing so again sandra yes it's on the registration document that you had from us uh this is a question from gracia for uh, max and claire are vegetarian and vegans catered for definitely all all um food allergies they, the staff will ask um, when they come to the table at the a la carte restaurants if there if there are any allergies but there are um, the a la carte restaurants at moon palace have um, vegetarian dishes they also have gluten-free dishes um, vegan so they're all noted on the menus as well but they will anything that you ask for they will prepare basically mm. and max yeah absolutely with us as well so vegan vegetarian piscitarian uh, gluten in gluten-free that in fact what i haven't mentioned in my presentation but at this spa we have also but during during the high season we will have also a cafe that would um serve only raw food so it's very good for you know for your clean things so you will have uh burgers it, it, it's all actually raw but it looks like like it, it has it, it's not but it's all vegan actually and and it's um once again for those people who are very much into into cleaning and all uh, so we would have it at this far. Otherwise, in main restaurant, but also um, um, uh, for, for our room service, we will have all the options for our clients. Absolutely. Perfect. And another question for you, Max. Chris has asked, what board basis do you offer? So our rate, so we can, let me start from the, how, you, how can you book it? Of course, it can be all done directly, but we work with, uh, with, our, with all the key tour operators, luxury tour operators or Caribbean tour operators here in the UK. So whether it is Carib Tours or all the Chester, uh, Chester tour operators, uh, you can book us through them. So the rate that would offer would be on, uh, uh, so it's an EP, European, European plan, meaning that it's room, uh, room only, but then uh, we have plenty of different promotions where we would include breakfast and sometimes even dinner, so it will be a half word. But we have different meal plans. And so you can see it uh, um, on our website, but also if you visit a website of a tour operator, so it will, will be bed and breakfast, but we can do MAP, we can do full board, or we can do all inclusive. So even all inclusive is possible around here. Perfect, thank you for that. Um, and Michael's asked, Max, can you share your slide presentations, please? So again, I don't know if, uh, put it on Dropbox or, or um, with pleasure. I can Dropbox. send it via we transfer. It's yeah, it's up to you. How would you? Yeah, well, I suppose um, one way to do it would be to put it into a Dropbox folder and then it's linked, and then Donovan can send everything out um, to everybody and copy you guys in with your email addresses. However, however you want to play it, I know you'll be in touch anyway. Okay. Um, or yes, people can contact you who wants it. And then you can drop it on on we transfer. So I'll I'll let you guys. I've got plenty of time this one. day, so I'll be happy to <laughs> start distributing my presentation with pleasure. Um, Amari has asked them um, which resort area in Jamaica is best for the group trip of friends in terms of activities and hotels that offers great experience, allowing the group to experience the real Jamaica, its food, culture, and history. So this is for you, Donovan. Uh, so for a group of friends, it could be anywhere in the Grill, Montego Bay, or Ocho Rios, I would recommend. There's lots to do, great for, uh, lots of properties, lots to do uh, for a group of friends in these three areas. Perfect. 
Um, and Sandra's just asked another question for Max. Max, what is the average age group of your guests, please? So it, I, I would say it, it is certainly not a place where you would like to have a hen party. <laughs> so uh, it, it's yeah, it's for you. For, for, uh, I think it's uh, it's from thirty and above about that. So I would I would say probably forty years old, thirty five, forty Perfect. years old. Yes. Perfect. Um, for young, is... young families, it's ideal. For, so, sorry to interrupt. The, um, it's ideal also for young families, for small families as well, because of those rooms that we have, which can be interconnected, but also because of the services we're targeting family markets quite well. Yes. Yeah. So um, that would work for them. Perfect. Um, Grazie has asked as well. Um, she loved the clips. Would it be possible to have them sent, please, so we can we can share them on social media? So yeah, if you guys want to send them to me, um, I can send them out to everybody um, via our social media channels. So if you will do that. Um, Dawn has asked Max, is there a specialist training for Round Hill? Do you have any online training? Uh, not at this stage. We might start working on it. But, um, oh, sorry, who asked that? What's the name of the agent? Uh, Don. Don, I will be happy to, to give you a training. I mean, I mean, whenever, if you want me to give you a call or if you want me, I don't know where, <laughs> once, once the quarantine is over, I want me back to normal. And, and once again, I'll, I'll be happy to do that. But we might start thinking of introducing something online for everybody. Mm. Perfect. Um, Julie has asked, um, this is for you, Donovan, when is the best time to see the turtles? Uh, the best time to see the turtles is uh, between September and December. That's when you tend to find most of the uh, turtles hatching. So the best time to see, I would say, is anywhere between probably September, they start right down into December. The best months, I would say, however, would be October and November. Uh, several of the beaches uh, do have turtle nests, and in the Otrius area, it can be easily experienced. Many of the hotels have connections with people who work with the turtles, and you can actually have that turtle release experience in the Otrius area quite easily. Perfect. Um... Uh, Capital has asked a question about the Round Hill, but we've already answered that question um, with regards to the tour operators. So it's more the luxury, the luxury tour operators. Um, do you deal yeah. with the luxury, like travel to high end or the gold medal high end, or is it just the yeah. small, like? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also with travel counselors, we can be found there as well. So we're in travel counselors program. Yeah, uh, direct. Yeah, so. And also the main tour operators who have a luxury sub-brand, we will be, normally we will be included in there, yeah. Perfect, brilliant. Um, yeah, and that, that's it. The rest of them are all about contact details, which we've covered anyway. So we're going to, we'll be sending out, we will send out the contact details. But as I say, it's on your main email that you registered with. Uh, you've got the speaker's details all on there, um, but we will get them sent out again. Um, okay, well, Wow, thank you. That was, a, that was um, over an hour, um, but very, very informative. So thank you very, very much for your time. Um, thanks, Claire, Donovan and Max. And um, we've had a lot of agents on board today. We've had some amazing questions, um, you know, and we do appreciate your support. So thank you very much. Um, thank you for organizing it. It's really fun, good. Fun. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. And Donovan, you said you've got a video to show to sailors out. I'm going to send you, but before I send you the video, I'd just like you to know the first person who signed up for our rewards program was Jill Preston, and Jill will get a special reward sent to her. So thank you for signing up, Jill, and all the others who have signed up. And out, we will share a video with you. Thanks, everyone, and thank see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unprecedented times when our courage and love for each other is tested by a global crisis. And while you have no choice but to postpone your travel plans, we understand it is the right thing to do. And we know that brighter days will return. After times of crisis, travel has always brought the world together. 
and has allowed Jamaica to serve the world with one heart and as one people. To slow the spread of this unprecedented and challenging health pandemic, we urge you near and far to observe the many calls for social distancing. We're doing the same, and we look forward to when next we meet again. So even though we're many beating hearts, in times like these, our hearts beat as one. Jamaica. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well in Jamaica, everybody. See you in Jamaica. All. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. bye.